Hello everyone, welcome back to Satisfactory. This is Maker Gaming, and yeah, I just did the hexagon tips video, and people liked it a lot, and a few people were asking about some of the parabolas and things in the background, so I figured I'd do a short tutorial video on those. Uh, so yeah, we'll do a vertical one, a horizontal one, and uh, then we'll look at some variants, things you can maybe do with it. Yeah, thanks for watching. I've just been working on different uh, parabola ideas. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, so pretty standard for these types of designs. I like to start with a back wall. And then I alternate the colors every other wall. So we have our measured wall that's 30 meters up. Uh, you have 32 up, 32 across, so put that 30 up. 30 over this way would be to right here. So yeah, you start at the 30 and go to the 2. But that kind of blocks your first view, so I actually like to start a little farther in. So instead of the 30, we'd go 28, 26, 24. And then we'd go 2, 4, 6. That should get us a little better. And then just you keep the alignment, the bottom of the black each time, and you go to the next spot. Sometimes you need a decent lookout to get uh, the angles you need. But that's why we're doing it on a blueprint, because once it's done, it's done. Alright, and then that's the last two. Come down here, you touch that, you save your blueprint, and you're done. Uh, you can either, it's probably better to get rid of the registration before you save. And that's it, once you place it, um, wherever you place it, you can also do these last ones. Or not. Yep, easy as that. Alright, the variations. The variations are fun. Uh, this is the first variation. It's the exact same design. It's just using steel beams instead. And those look really cool. Uh, so yeah, that's the pattern if you do the side with the two ridges, and then this would be the flat side. Okay, uh, this is kind of showing off two things. Uh, one, you can do different lengths versus widths. So uh, most of the ones I've built have been one-to-one -one in terms of where you're crossing over. This one, uh, you're going twice as far over, so this would be... If that was 10 meters high, this would be 20 meters high. So you do the same application, you're just going over that extra space in one of the diagonals. And then also covering them in concrete. Let's show that real quick. So you can take any parabola you make and just get a piece. Just get a pillar at the beginning of each beam like so yep you just connect all these up I want to block each other though so let's start from there yeah so it could just get you kind of more natural forms going up something um, well more natural than what I could do on my own so in terms of decorating actual buildings with the parabolas I haven't found a great use yet but except for as a uh, support so I think it works well like maybe like a super cantilevered roof you can kind of use multiple ones just as a fancy support that's what I did here with my hyper cannon uh, launch pad all right and finally for the variations this is just an example of uh, the parabolas are really good idea for it can be used on any two beams. 
Uh, and because of the beam's kind of internal measurements, um, it makes it real easy. So just to complete this thing off real quick. So yeah, you get that star pattern without the middles, or you come back in. And again, this just shows you, you can do the parabola up against any two beams. Yeah. Tile that a thousand times up a wall. So you can do a lot of a lot of these things on blueprints and, uh, you know, get your money's worth. Be able to put them down a bunch of times. Let's make a grid. Alright, so I know the light gray are one meter and the, the crosses are two meters, but we'll just call these, we're going to call each white cross one step. So let's say you want to start there. Alright, so if we do 12 steps, that's 24 meters each way. And I just put those there. Those aren't actually uh, in the in the workspace. It's just so you can kind of see the length. So all you want to do is you want to take the last point of this side and connect it to the first point of this side. So we'll say that's our outside step. So one, two, three, four in. And then over here we'll go one, two, three, four out. And now the overlap should be fine. You're just going to repeat this all the way through. Alright, that's basically all there is to it. Um, you can add these final ones, or you can leave them off. Uh, you can go one out, or just stop them there. Uh, you get kind of different end effects for either of those options. Let's go 26. Uh, kind of blends in better if you do that one extra step with the straight line. But then there's also positives to not putting that, that last straight line in, in terms of connecting blueprints. So by not having it, it's easier to connect them like so. I think that was right. And yeah, that's basically it. It's just good for decorations. Um, it can be good for just anytime you need a curve going up a wall or going up a bridge or something. So with Nudge coming out, uh, I thought this would be a perfect time for this because next Tuesday, uh, update eight releases, we're going to get new blueprint mechanics. Things are going to be much easier to place and I could see uh, using these against each other and in your builds will be much easier you know i think that's it so thanks for watching uh, if you're interested in more stuff like this uh, leave some comments so i know and uh at least the vertical one and the main horizontal ones that i showed those are on my discord and the blueprints channel if anyone's interested or just make them using this tutorial yep thanks for watching